Nairobi is mourning the death of their two-year-old daughter after the child fell in a septic tank. Melchizedek Oyugi and his wife, Rose Juma, have narrated how their daughter slipped from their hands of other children as they played and unfortunately fell in the open septic tank, which is said to have been in that condition despite calls by tenants to have it covered to escape danger. On Saturday evening, two-year-old baby Razel and other children from the neighborhood of Nyamavila village in Keole Estate were playing like they do every other day. Razel's parents, Melgiza Di Koyugi and Rose Juma, knew their daughter was safe with her friends and would be back. But as the mother would discover later, her child was gone for good. Alishika mkono yake wakienda hivi, ani kasema hako na watu wakubwa sita waita. Jiwa likuwa nao wenye wako kula seven na mwenye wako kula six, walikuwa wane. Wakaenda tu hivo, wakaenda hivo, ana kakidobo naona wanarudi. Ana mnarudi na razela hako hapi, nyundi kuwa tu hapi nje. Na razela hako hapi. Wana sense, ni kama awajamuona. And that shock and worry will be confirmed when the lifeless body of baby Razel was discovered in this septic tank. Ndota likuwa meingia kwa sewage. Ndiyo badae, nikasema, nikaona kiyo kitu, nikasema gai. Ndotu wangu wa siwe ya kwa hapa ndani. Haki kuingia nilipata mtoto. Ndiyo nikavruta mtoto, nikatoa mtoto. Mtoto alikuwa mikufa. Even though the child might have died while still in the septic tank, the parents attempted to rescue her by rushing to the nearby Mama Lucy Hospital. Nikamua niende kwa askari huko Soweto Police Station. So vile nifika huko nilipigiwa simu na wanyo alikuwa hapa kwa ground. Wakaniambia nisiripoti yo kesi kwanza kuzi ni kama mtoto bado wana kuna mwenye ni kama alifinya ni niyake. Tumbia kawana kama ni kama bada anapumua. So wakaniambia ni seripoti yu kesi ni ngoja kidogo. So kundrafiki yangu alimchukua na gari ya kampeleka hospitali patanisho. Postmortem on the body of the dead girl is expected to be done on Monday. But even as the family awaits results, the family continues to push for justice on their departed daughter, whom they feel her death was as a result of negligence on the part of the landlady. Meanwhile, the landlady is reported to have gone into hiding following the incident. This followed allegations that tenants have been complaining about this septic tank, yet she chose not to act accordingly. It is further claimed that this house was once here marked for demolition, but the landlady is said to have erased the markings by painting the house. Shadrapiti, Kitty News.